Hey everyone, welcome to Trades Tutor. Glad you could stop by. Today we're going to go be going through adding fractions. So we'll start with that one over four or a fraction. What we'll do is we'll go through a couple of definitions here. One is a fraction is a part of a whole. So the one is what we call the numerator. That's how many parts you have. And then the four is called the denominator. And that's how many parts make up a whole. All right, so there's a fraction for you. That's an example. Maybe a little easier example would be a pizza. If you can count, we can have eight slices. All right. So what we'll do is we'll develop a, we'll make a fraction from this. So we have eight slices. That's the whole. We'll put the eight down there. And then let's say we go and eat three slices. We put that above. That's how many we've eaten. We've eaten three of eight. There's your fraction. Now let's say we go and have, oh, there you go, numerator, denominator. Let's say we go and eat two more slices for a total of five slices. What we're going to do is add a fraction here. So we eat two more slices of the eight. So how many slices have we eaten of the eight? We've eaten five of the eight. All right, so there's the concept. Now let's go, there you go, excellent. Let's go to an example. Let's say we eat half the pizza. Now if there's eight slices, if you eat half, you can tell that that's four pieces. All right? What we'll say is we'll eat one of two parts. We've eaten half. And then, there you go, two, and we've eaten one. There's your fraction. One of two. We've eaten one of the two. Eat one more slice. Now that's one slice of how many? That's one slice of eight. You see the problem here, adding this, okay? What's it going to equal? That's the problem we have. Those, those denominators. We need to find what's called a common denominator, a number common to both of those. Because we can't just add them up and say, all right, that's 2 over 10. That's not going to work. So what we need to do is we need to find this common denominator, or we can even go the lowest common denominator, the lowest number that's common to both. Okay. And what we can do is quick, simply, one, no, two, yeah, two can go into that, three, no, four, yeah, can go into that, five, six, can go into that, but the eight still can't go into anything, and you see where we're going. When we get to the eight, the two can go into it, the eight can go into it. That's our lowest common denominator. The lowest number both can go into. All right? So, now what? Okay? That's good. The 8 is good. We don't have to change it. It's the 1 half that we got to change. So we want to get 1 half to say something over 8. And we, take, we do this by saying the 2. What do we do to the 2 to get it to 8? Well, we multiply it by 4 to get 8. That's the same thing we're going to do to the top. Multiply it by 4 to get you 4 eighths. Easy enough, you can see 4 eighths is basically 1 half. So the formula then becomes 4 over 8 plus 1 over 8 is, another check mark, 5 over 8. There you go. That's adding fractions. Thanks for watching.